I am Anil Kumar and now we will further explore secondary trigonometric ratios. The question here is solve to the nearest tenth secant theta equals to 1.25 and theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. Now what does that mean? It really means that we need to find for what angle of theta secant theta is equals to 1.25. So we need to find the value of theta, right? So that is what we need. How do we find it? Now, if you look at the calculator, then we have on the calculator sine, cosine, and tangent. We do not have the secondary ratios secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Therefore, it becomes a must for us to write them in the reciprocal form, right? So the equation is secant theta equals to 1.25 what is cosine theta cosine theta will be 1 over secant theta is it okay which means 1 over 1.25 that can help us to find the angle theta right so so cosine theta is 1 over secant theta so it is 1. 1 over 1.25 and now we can say theta is equals to cos inverse of 1 over 1.25, right? And we can use calculator and find the answer. So that is that is the way to find, right? Well, I could have solved it in, in, in a different way also, which gives the same answer. What I'm trying to say here is that let me let me do it like this. We have secant theta is 1.25 and we know secant is 1 over cos theta correct because i know students will approach in very different different ways so these are two options so we have 1 over cos theta secant theta is 1.25 cross multiply so we have cos theta equals to 1 over 1.25 right same answer so theta equals to cos inverse of 1 over 1.25 now that will give you one answer. Our question is, theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. We need to find the value or solve this particular equation. Now, if you just use calculator to find this value, you'll get one answer. But that is kind of incomplete answer, right? At times, I may call it wrong answer. Since we did not answer the question completely, when we say theta is between 0 to 360 degrees, what should we do? We should first look into the coordinate system itself and then the cast rule, which we know that all are positive in coordinate 1, sine in positive is coordinate 2, tan in 3, and cosine in 4, C A S T, right? Now, since we are looking for a positive value, we are actually expecting two solutions. One, when the angle is in quadrant 1, the other one when the angle is in quadrant 4. So we are expecting two answers, right? Therefore, our strategy in such questions is always find the related acute angle. So find related acute angle. That is the strategy. So what we do is we don't really go straight for the theta. We say let angle B be cos inverse of drop the sign. Here it is positive, just use positive, right? Now what is cos inverse of 1 over 1.25, right? So let's find that out. So we'll use second function, shift cos inverse of 1 divided by 1.25 bracket close equals to. 36.869 so we get this as 36.869 something let us round this to 36.9 degrees okay so what we get here is actually the acute angle right so always first find the acute angle so in this case we get acute angle of 36.9 so this is the angle which is 36.9 degrees since we are looking for a positive answer that is one of our solution the other solution is the other acute angle of 36.9 degrees which lands up in quadrant 4 
and the answer should be the principal angle which is from here to there do you understand so we have two solutions and those are the angle thetas which we have to report so we get theta is equals to 1 the acute angle 36.9 degrees as we found and the other one is theta is equals to 360 degrees minus 36.9 degrees do you get the point right so let us do 360 minus 36.9 equals to in decimals 323.1 so we get 323.1 degree so these are the two solutions for us so we now we can write down our answer the solution is theta equals to 36.9 degrees and 323.1 degrees so we get both the solutions and that is how we should be finding the secondary trigonometric ratios as the situation is given to us right so that is how you should be doing it i hope that helps thank you and all the best